Every year, the United States on average drops over 1,200 tornadoes. All these are judged by a tornado scale called the Enhanced Fujita Scale, which ranges from EF0 to EF5. I'm here to show you how each tornado is graded and the damage these ranges can produce. Let's raise that weather IQ. EF0. Winds, 65 to 85 miles per hour. Believe it or not, these tornadoes produce only minor damage, lots of broken limbs, very little structural damage, and maybe a bent gutter or two. Isolated uprooted trees are also possible. EF1, winds 86 to 110 miles per hour. Storm surveyors are kind of like detectives, but tree damage is one of the biggest clues. Based on this degree of damage scale, a snap tree has a minimum winds of 93 miles per hour. An EF1 will have multiple trees down, more structural damage is seen to houses, and mobile homes will roll over, and a strong EF1 can sometimes flip cars. EF2, winds 111 to 135 miles per hour. An EF2 is considered a strong tornado. When tree coverage almost looks like a lawnmower went over the area, it's minimum EF2 damage. Garage doors, exterior doors are blown off. Entire houses can shift off their foundations. Debris is everywhere. Mobile homes are completely blown away and small barns are often destroyed. EF2s can also throw a vehicle. EF3 wins, 136 to 165. At this level, homes are destroyed. Roofs are gone, exterior walls collapsed. Large sections of warehouses could see total destruction. This damage was last seen in North Carolina back in July 2023 in Rocky Mount when this EF3 had peak winds of 150 miles per hour. EF4 winds 166 to 200 miles per hour. Instead of the pile of rubble left from an EF3, an EF4 will scatter the debris sometimes miles away. Retail buildings are destroyed. Cars are flown far away from where they're parked. A brick structure is the safest place from a tornado, but they're even often no match for a direct hit from an EF4. EF5, winds over 200 miles per hour. This damage is incredible. These rare monsters leave nothing left, literally wiping towns off the map. The first ever EF5 happened when the EF scale was adopted in 2007, leveling 95% of the town of Greensburg. And in rare cases, an EF5 is strong enough to rip the pavement off the road. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.